everyone, this is Heather Smith from Storyville Photography, and today I'm going to show you how I achieved this edit. I used the Canon R5 in the 200mm 2.0f lens, and my settings were 2.0f, 320 ISO, and 500 shutter speed. This is the before, and this is the after. I had my camera on a tripod, and I paid the neighborhood kid 20 bucks to press the shutter, and this is what we got. Any opportunity I have to gross my kids out just a little bit, especially with kissing, I go for it. <laughs> anyway, let's get started. The only thing I did in Lightroom was pull up the shadows, decrease the highlights, and warm the image up a little bit. And now I am in Photoshop. I'm going to make a copy of the background layer, Command J, and I'm going to come up to my filter, Camera Raw Filter. Shrink that down a little bit. I'm going to come into my presets. Simplicity 2, enter, and that is the before and after there, and then I'm going to go ahead, you can either do it on the same layer or make a copy in case you want to do any masking, but I'm going to hit the command J, make another copy, I'm going to go to the filter, liquify, shrink this in, okay, come over here to my daughter, and I'm going to just move her hair up a little bit, give it a little body using the forward warp tool. Expand on the bun just a little bit. Who doesn't like bigger hair? <laughs> okay, there we go. Before and after. And now I want to add some turquoise into the image. It really plays well with the greens in our outfit and um, is very complementary to the orange dead leaves. <laughs> They're not all dead, but you know, a bunch are on the ground. So I'm gonna come to my crazy for color and I'm gonna go into the lavish turquoise, hit play, and then soft white brush at 100% opacity. I'm gonna run over the background really quick. And then as I get closer to my subjects, I wanna decrease the brush flow or opacity to about 40%. I'm gonna get in closer. Take your time with this guy so you don't have like halos or any funky stuff going on. I recommend that in all my videos, but I think it's so important to not just rush through it like I am here. And then you can always use X if you wanna go back and mask something off, like if I got it on my subject's hair or whatever. You can just use the black and then continue and go on with the right uh, white brush by using the X key. Okay, and that's all I'm gonna spend time on for that. This is the before and the after. And then I'm gonna come over to my action panel and come to the ultimate dodge and burn. I use this on almost all of my images, as you guys know by now open up the big group and I'm going to go to the dodge and burn clothing, dodge, white brush because we have a black layer mask, 100% opacity, and I'm going to just go over the clothing really quick. really makes the images pop and yeah sorry if you guys are a little grossed out by our kissing but I love this image so I thought it'd be fun to edit for y'all anyway <laughs> I already have it edited but for you guys okay and then I wanted a little bit bright in some areas so all I'm gonna do is keep that selected hit command J and it's gonna copy my selection there and then I want to mask it off certain areas where it's too bright, so I'm going to come down to about 40% on my brush opacity. The black brush is back out, and I'm going to just mask off some of it where it's just a little bit too bright. Okay, and that looks good to me. That's the before and after with the clothing. Again, take a little bit more time than I did, guys. Now I'm going to come over to the Dodge faces. And if you want to have separate ones for each individual, all you have to do is hit Command J as many times as you have subjects. So there's four, five. I don't need to do that. I'm just going to keep the two um, and go to town here. So back to 100% white 
brush on my black layer mask and I'm just gonna hit the skin and hair on some some hair okay coming over here brighten us up okay and then I'm gonna come back with a brush on a lower opacity black to mask a little bit of the blown out areas this ear really pay attention to details guys okay and that looks good to me and now I am going to come on up to my environment extra burn soft white brush 100% opacity and I'm just gonna run it over the background Again, feel free to get close to your subjects and take your time with it. And then I'm going to go down to zero and kind of just increase it to where my eye likes it. And that looks good to me. So we are all done with the dodge and burn. That's the before and after. And the next thing I want to do is come up to the layer, flatten image. I'm going to go ahead and run the painterly action. Make sure it's ran on your background layer. I'm going to decrease the opacity to about 70% or so. It's really just your personal preference. And I'm going to take the black brush because it's a white layer mask and completely wipe it off of our features like face, ears, hands, anything where it makes it look a little wonky. A little hair clip there. Take it completely off of his shirt. Bring some of that texture back in. Gosh, her face just kills me right there. Oh my goodness. Who else likes grossing their kids out? Just a little bit, guys. <laughs> just a little bit. Okay. Now I'm going to come up to the Color Dazzle put it to zero and just slowly increase to where my eye likes it. And about 25% looks good to me. I'm gonna take a black um, brush at probably like, I don't know, 26% opacity there and just kind of mask off a little bit on our skin where it was a little bit too much. And that about does it for the painterly action before and after. Actually, I might wanna brighten it just a teeny bit. I'm gonna go into the brighten. Turn it all the way down, increase it to about there, that looks good. Okay, now before and after, I'm gonna come up, flatten it, make a copy of the background layer, Command J, and I'm gonna come up to my ACR, camera raw filter, in case you guys are wondering, and I just wanna increase the clarity a little bit. Before and after, okay, flatten that. And now I want to mirror this side a little bit. All you really need is one good side and you can make the adjustments to the other side. Um, so I'm gonna make a copy to the, of the background layer, Command J. And the first thing I wanna do is take my lasso tool and just select this little area. It doesn't have to be perfect. Copy it, Command J, or Command C, I'm sorry. And then paste it, Command V. And then free transform it, Command T come up to the width, put a little negative so it completely um, reverses it or flips it. Sorry, a little bit too much coffee. My words are getting jumbled. And then you can kind of move it around to where you want. Then I'm gonna add a layer mask, grab my black brush, 100% opacity and get weird of the, weird of the, rid of the weird hard lines. And once you do some masking, you can always go back and move it around by just using the free transform if you choose to. Okay, and that looks okay to me before and after. Maybe take some of that off. Okay. And then I want to get, I like the little blur down here of the foreground. So I'm going to do the same thing. Take the lasso tool. Just kind of hit this area. Command C to copy. Command, whoops. Okay. 
you got to go make sure that the layer that you have selected actually has pixels on it and then copy it and then paste it command V and then free transform it command T put your little negative so it completely flips There we go. I probably should have grabbed a little bit more of that foreground, um, so a different selection. But yeah, you guys get the point. Or I can just go ahead and show you. <laughs> Hold on. Okay. So a little bit more. If you don't like your first selection, then just do it again. Same steps. Okay. Put it over here. That gave me a little bit more of what I'm looking for. Mask black brush, and you can also adjust the opacity if you want. For me, I'm going to keep it at 100%. Okay, and that about does it. Oh shoot, I never left the um, before, so let me pull that up real quick. So this is where we started, and this is where we finished, before and after. You can find everything I used here at www.storybuildphotography.com. Thanks, guys. Have a great day. Bye.